what's good my people um welcome to another video and this is going to be part two of the discussion i'm uh, i'm basically talking about you know part one was basically me exposing you know what i'm saying basically um not exactly exposing but basically calling out the pro blacks the ones that's on that goes on youtube okay they talk all this trash they talk all this shit about you know what I'm saying? Calling other black folks, other people coons because they don't agree with what they are, uh, what they what they want to, um, what you agree with, okay? All these liberals, okay? Those are the ones I call out. The ones who are basically complaining and talking, yet they got opportunities, but yet they don't support their own kind. You know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll talk about equality and all this other stuff, but yet you don't want to support your own people that were struggling, okay? The black folks that you do see famous, most of them have to get up on their own. They had to get it by themselves. So that was what my, was my, that was what my last video was pertaining to. I broke down the three types of black folks in this country. Just out of politics alone. Okay? So now in this video, I'm going to basically cover the ones who basically been pipping, um, pipping poverty. The ones who's basically been taking advantage of people suffering and pain. The Umar Johnsons, okay? Yeah, the Umar Johnsons. You got the uh, Boyce Watkins, who's a capitalist. The Reverend Jackson Jacksons. These particular folks, right? The ones who basically talk like they for black folks and they talk like they a black leader, but yet they all they asking for is money. The only, they want money for a book and everything. They, they want you to buy into their little program, but yet they ain't doing nothing to make change themselves. You know what I'm like for example, Umar Johnson, right? I saw that video where you done called out, you done got on Shaq, you done, you done called out Shaquille O'Neal, you done got on Deion Sanders, Little Wayne, okay? Jim Brown, Ray Lewis, all these cats, even Michael Vick, right? These cats that didn't agree with Colin Kaepernick, okay? Who they, um, they, they know, they know, they understand the reason why Colin Kaepernick's not in the league. They understand why he's not in the league. They understand that he's trying to protest, but it's how he did. They feel he did it the right way. And again, this is what I've been elaborating on, man. This is what I've been saying. Colin Kaepernick never really had a plan. He never really had an end game. I told everybody from the beginning that whole situation was nothing but nothing for money anyway. He wasn't really doing this for all social injustice. I told y'all that. So they all told him the reason why this man in the league. Yeah, Umar Jones, you want to call them out. You want to get on Shaq and Dion. But Shaq and Dion, me I remind you, these are two of the most. You know what I'm saying? Recognizable, most, you know what I'm saying? Most no notorious athletes that were around in their times. Shaq basically ran, dominated the NBA. And Deion Sanders is the one of the best DBs of his time. That man, Deion Sanders won two Super Bowls with two different teams. And here Shaq is a four time NBA champion, okay? They know what they're talking about. They know everything about the, they, they know everything about the sports and how it's ran and the, politi the politics behind it. Okay. Shaq is a police officer. What'd you expect him to say? Dion said it best. We want you to um kneel last we want you to kneel um uh, we want you to stand up last year. You wouldn't do that. Okay. You got the nerve to get on Lil Wayne. Now Lil Wayne, I, I remind you, Lil Wayne is from Harder Grove. I did a video on Lil Wayne. That man is from one of the roughest parts of New Orleans. But Lil Wayne knows that when he was suffering going through his situation in the hood, Black Lives Matter wasn't didn't stand up for him at all. Nobody in your hand out to New Orleans, nobody helped him out. This mother had to raise him by herself while she was still going to school trying to work to provide for Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne had to get it up by himself and his success. Lil Wayne said, I'm blessed, I see no racism, I see no color. Lil Wayne has already stated that he ain't trying to be a part of that shit. Like that one interview, right? And it's on YouTube. There's this one lady that was asking about Black Lives Matter, asked him how he feels about the president and all that shit. Lil Wayne said, Man, I'm, I'm done. Lil Wayne basically took his microphone off, took his headset off, took his earpiece off and walked out of that woman on the interview. Go look at it, it's on YouTube. Lil Wayne don't want to be bothered with that, that type of shit, man. Cause them same people, Lil Wayne knows that it's all full of crap. He knows this. That the people that support the Black Lives Matter movement didn't support him at all when he was growing up. They didn't support the, they, like I said, they didn't try to change or help the hood at all. That's, that's the issue there. So Dr. Umar Johnson would get him. Dr. Umar Johnson had the nerve to get on Jim Brown. Now I'm here remind you, Jim Brown did a whole lot for black folks. He did a lot for, for the black community. That man was is considered a hero. Jim Brown 
even during the 1960s and 70s when he was playing ball in his prime, that man still helped out with the revolution. That man helped gave money to the Black Panther Party. That man basically put money into the hood to try to unite black folks, Bloods and Crips. He tried to stop them from killing each other off. He been doing things for the uh, for black folks. And yet, Dr. Omar Johnson want to get on him. Yeah, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Michael Vick, right? Michael Vick only did, only told Khaled Kaepernick device that he, um, that he, that would helped him get back to lead. Cause Michael Vick was correct. Michael Vick had to cut his hair, okay? He had to go clean shaven, clean cut. He had to apologize to Lee for dogfighting. Cause remember, Michael Vick was locked up for at least four years. And this was after like 2005. Cause that man got caught for dogfighting around 2006, 2007. The 07 season, he got caught, right? He went to jail for like four years. But the NFL gave him a second chance. So Michael Vick didn't mean no harm, but he just mean you gotta, he told Kaepernick, cause he not, cause Michael Vick knows, man, and everybody knows this, man. Colin Kaepernick never had no afro when he came into the league, okay? He didn't start growing that afro until Black Lives Matter started backing him. Until George Soros started contacting him and his girlfriend got with him. After she left all the spells, he started changing. Because the liberals started backing him up. But before then, that man wasn't thinking about that shit. Growing the afro, wearing all wearing all black and everything, wearing that shit, he wasn't doing none of that before. So Michael Vick tried to tell him, you know what I'm saying, what it is, and then, you know what I'm saying, he wasn't eating me no harm. But the fact that Colin Kaepernick came at Michael Vick was clearly, again, it was effed up. Okay? Y'all gotta understand this, man. You understand what you're dealing with here. Yeah, so Dr. Umar, you wanna get on all these cats, but yet, last time I checked, bro, you, last time I checked with Umar Johnson, and folks, this is the truth, right? And again, the video was out there, right? Dr. Lamar Johnson had the nerve to call black folks trifling because they didn't raise him 300k on a school he still had not opened. This dude had the nerve to try to say, I need 250k, right? Because he want to build a school for, for kids, right? For, for young boys and girls to go to school, right? This dude straight said in a video, and, and, and again, this is out there, I can't make this stuff up at all. Dr. Umar Johnson basically called black folks trifling, right? Because they, they couldn't raise him 300k, but yet. He said, oh, the white folks raised such and such 300K, but why y'all couldn't raise me 300K? You compare them to white folks? That's just, that's utterly, that's utterly out of line. That's just stupid as hell. Umar Johnson without his rabbit ass mind, okay? All Umar Johnson wants to do is pimp black folks of their money and shit. That's all he wants is money. That man don't really care. This is why young Pharaoh and everybody else to expose his ass. Dr. Umar Johnson, people like Umar Johnson are full of crap. Including Boyce Watkins. Okay, Boyce Watkins had the nerve to get on the NFL, get on a black man for trying to back foot, try to get a job. But yet, and, 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 all you doing is capitalizing. All you doing is, is taking folks' money. You ain't even, you ain't about what you say you are. No one Johnson wants you to give up your job, but yet he don't understand that most people can't afford to give up their job. Especially if you live in California, you live in a bad economy. It's not that damn easy. How you expect black folks to give up their job when they can't? When they own kind, don't even support him. No, Dr. Ju oh my, Dr. Um, and even Boyce Watkins. Boyce Watkins just take advantage of the situations. That man don't really get, don't really give too much, do two fucks about black folks like that. He don't, he really don't care too much. All that man cares about is his money and you, how much money you gonna pay him. That's all he cares about, man. Y'all gotta stop dealing with these um, with these so-called black leaders. They're not really helping the situation at all. Yeah, Omar Johnson, this is for you. You nothing but a goddamn hypocrite. Okay, and the same man and Umar Johnson in the same video then, then said, "Oh, I want my I want the children to stay in my schools. I don't want them coming home to you." So Umar Johnson, you want parents to pay money to the school, so yo, so, and then have your children have their children attend the school, but they, they children can't leave home. What the hell type of shit are you trying to pull? Okay, y'all see, man, y'all gotta understand, y'all gotta understand what y'all dealing with, man. Y'all gotta understand the program here, man. It's all nonsense. Because I've been telling y'all before this. If y'all won't change, it's got to start within ourselves. Okay, we y'all gotta we gotta change ourselves. We gotta make ourselves better as people. We gotta work on each other before we, you know what I'm saying, start trying to initiate some type of change. Y'all need to start relying on these people on TV to try to do stuff for you, because they ain't, man. They not. We live in a day and age where people are all for themselves. Okay, it's sad to say it, but it's the truth. I watched this. I watched. I watched stuff transpire. 
this whole liberal thing is nothing but a smoke screen. So they can push a feminist agenda. That's what it's really about. Look at Michael Eric. Look at Michael uh, Eric Dyson. Gonna come on and spill saying that masculinity is a problem, right? He said men's masculinity is poison. But yet y'all complain when you got a man that claim about people like that brother who showed up at the Oscars wearing a suit, then had a dress right under it. Yeah, y'all complain about that shit, right? You complain about homosexuality. That homosexuality is a problem. But yet homosexuality is even inside the churches. It's everywhere, man. For the last five years, five, six years, you got men wearing skirts and dresses, wearing purses and crap like that, man. Yeah, you want to complain. Yeah, you got people like Michael Eric Dyson that want to say, oh, masculinity is a, is a problem. Then what, then what, what are you then under there then? Michael Eric Dyson, are you wearing, you know what I'm saying? Did, did you get a sex change? Hmm? Are you wearing a tampon under there? Because last time I checked, men aren't supposed to be like women at all. Men are supposed to be masculine. Women are supposed to be feminine and men are supposed to be masculine. Right? Yet you talk about that. Yet you talking about your book. Come buy my book. Come purchase my book that you read so you want people to buy into your book. We got you over here speaking nonsense. This is why young this is why the younger generation is growing up confused. This is why we got more and more young boys, okay? And young women that's growing up that they don't know what they are. They can't tell where they want to be a man, they want to be a man or they want to be a female. Why? Because you got people like Michael Eric Dyson that's come up when you telling you that masculinity is wrong. You got too many of these organizations, these famous organizations that want women to equal themselves with men. And that's not physically possible. That's why you got this one female athlete whose name I'm not going to mention who wants to play in the NFL. I think she's in college. Y'all can look her up. It's a female athlete who was a quarterback in high school and now she's in college and now she wants to also play in the NFL. Knowing full well that if this woman was to play in the NFL with her gear on, she tried to go. If she was to play in the NFL amongst these other uh, men who are at least two, three hundred pounds bigger than her, playing amongst these linemen and linebackers, that if she get one hit on her one time, she's done. Okay, watch. You can look this up right now. You got you got these feminist movements that's trying to push for a female to play in the NFL. Some of my coworkers at work was just talking about this. It's it's, it's nonsense, man. Women ain't supposed to be playing football with the men. That's why you had the lingerie league. Okay? Yeah, you have female football players and you have female athletes who play football in high school. There was one on my football team when I was at um Jordan. Okay? When I played high school back when uh in Long Beach. In my high school, right? Her name was Karen. She was one of our kickers. But that's what she just was. She was just our kicker. We now have her playing on special teams. Going against the kickoff or kickoff return, we did not have her playing defense or offense. Why? Because she's going to get seriously hurt. Then, even before Karen, I remember my sophomore year, right? We had another uh, female. Now, she was Samoan. Now, everybody knows that most of these Pacific Islanders, these Samoans and Polynesians, they naturally big. But we had a uh, uh, we had a female uh, we had a uh, we had a female uh, athlete try to lift weights with us and try to play football with us out there on the field. That didn't last long. That coach has shut that down real quick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one of our assistant head coaches at the time, I think it was a Thomas Barnes, he wasn't going to play that shit. He didn't, lie, he didn't lie that at all. He said, no, you can't be here. I'm sorry, man. You're going to get hurt. He told her that. Yeah, I think this was in between my sophomore and junior year. We had that going on. Okay? Don't get me wrong now. We live in a country where you're free to be who you want to be. And become what you want to become, but no, you there's a reason why when sports you got women's sports and you got you got men's sports. Because men not supposed to compete with the women and women not supposed to compete with the men. I don't appreciate that one that one transgender fighter in the UFC. Man go get a sex change and then start fighting with the women. And going undefeated too, beating women's asses. Beating kicking women's uh, asses in the ring. Now apparently he didn't run up on Holly Helm or Ronda Rousey. Because Ronda Rousey wasn't gonna be playing that shit. But you got that now. He he appeared right after Ronda Rousey left. I know this too. He didn't want to fight Ronda Rousey. He didn't want to fight. No, he didn't want to fight her. He didn't want to fight Nunez or Holly Helm. That man want to show up after these 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 guys after those women left. After Ronda Rousey left, that's when he want to show up. But still, man, you got a transgender man, basically a fool. He's still a man. Okay, he still got the qualities of a man, but yeah, he's still fighting women. I don't agree with that either. Okay, 
But again, you got that type of stuff going on. And the same feminist organizations are also backing these liberal agendas with these Black Lives Matter movement. That's what you got going on here, man. It's just nonsense. It's nothing but a bunch of confusion. Okay? So for those who are watching this video, y'all got to understand, y'all got to do research on your own. Okay? If you're going to follow anybody, you got to do research behind this person and see if they're really genuine or not. Because only time going to tell before they start asking for donations. And then the money they donate for ain't going towards the cause they, they raise it for. It's going in their pockets. Like Omar Johnson. I truly believe that every bit of that 250K went right in that man's pocket. Colin Kaepernick with Nike, right? The only reason why Nike even endorsed that man's campaign is because it's doing it for money. They didn't really care too much about the social you know, issues. They didn't really care that much, right? They ain't doing it for money. Yeah, Nike never gave money. The company Nike never donated money into no schools in the hood at all. Nothing like that. I say, man, I got nothing against Nike at all. Don't get me wrong. I still wear Nikes on my feet, but it is what it is. They did it as a business move. I'm not knocking to say they, it wasn't genuine. I believe they believe that what Kaepernick was doing was right, but let's just be honest about it, man. Some of that stuff wasn't always accurate because Kyle Kaepernick didn't say a word after that. Colin Kaepernick is not doing nothing against police brutality. Like I keep telling y'all. And you got other people like him that still ain't doing nothing against it. Look at Reverend Jackson Jackson, the Al Sharpton been around for how long and things still haven't changed. You still got officers killing black folks. Al Sharpton and Reverend Jackson Jackson been around since Rodney King got his ass beat by them four officers. Now, back in the 90s, people rioted. They took to the streets. Notice we don't have that now. Okay? Yeah. Where's all you pro back? Where's all you pro backs that's one that's supposed to be rioting right now, right? We still got how many people got killed since this thing been going on? You no know saying Trayvon Martin got murdered by Zimmerman. Zimmerman's been let off free. I don't see none of y'all getting mad over that shit. Yeah, in Ferguson, in Ferguson y'all was looting, but y'all wasn't going, y'all wasn't attacking no police officers at all. None, man. Y'all wasn't attacking none of these KKK, none of these Confederates, none of these white supremacists. Despite somebody getting lynched last year, and I covered that in my video. Yeah, where's this outrage now? Okay. And none of y'all gonna go to the South neither. You see what, what went down in Charlottesville? Ain't no war broke out over that at all. None. So again, man, this is why I keep telling y'all, man, what are y'all fighting for? I mean, I understand that a lot of y'all want that hug from the Caucasian. Y'all want the Caucasian to forgive you and you want the Caucasian to take you seriously. But I expect that the Caucasian to take you seriously where y'all don't even take yourselves seriously at all. Y'all call people like me Uncle Tom. I'm crazy because I got a different opinion and I got things that I want done. But yeah, y'all not even trying to help yourselves out. God helps those who help themselves. Did he not say that in his scripture, in his word? Again, man, y'all got to watch these people who y'all follow, man. Because a lot of this stuff ain't genuine at all. It's really not. And I'm tired of seeing black folks get took advantage of by people who talk a big game. They act like they mean well, but they're not going to do nothing to help nobody. Because, again, we still got an issue now. But at the same time, too, y'all got to understand that every, all, every, everybody, all things ain't bad people. Every white person ain't racist. Okay? No, the problem is within ourselves. Again, like I keep telling y'all, man, we got to start our own police force. Okay? We got to educate ourselves more. We need more people going to school. We, know, we need more people learning. And if you want to liberate somebody, do it on your own. Do it by yourself. And y'all can't start no army unless you got soldiers to do it. That's just how it is. Because if that's the case, then why ain't no um? Not because if that's the case, man. Why and why why we don't have no um? Why things ain't changing? Y'all complain about the Jews. You complain about the Asians. You complain about the Hispanics taking over your jobs, taking over the community. But yet y'all don't have no business open up yourselves. And people like Umar Johnson, they not putting no schools into it they ain't they ain't open up no hospitals they ain't open up no more black owned stores no black owned business or nothing like that i mean yeah we, we got restaurants but that's not enough we got barbershops but that's not enough black folks need their own specific they ain't their own hospitals open up you need more black owned schools you need more black owned libraries okay libraries that, that have literature y'all need to be scared of that's another thing too man 
black people act like they scared of a library, man. Don't be scared of a library. You know what I'm saying? Go to the library so you can learn to read. You don't just go in there and be on the computer. Okay? So this is what I'm saying. There's not enough of this being done. And this is why this is why I have a problem with a lot of stuff that's been transpiring. Y'all say y'all won't change, but y'all not really even talk to the president. Matter of fact, when Obama was president, how many black folks actually reached out to Obama and tell him the problems he wanted done? Okay? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't remember seeing too many black folks besides Open Winfrey that was really working with Obama like that during his campaign, really backing him, really conversating with him. And it's sad you got people talking against Open Winfrey even on YouTube and on Facebook and Instagram. There's people talking against Open Winfrey on YouTube, but Open Winfrey did a lot. Uh, Open Winfrey is still donating money in Africa now. Open Winfrey got a school open up right now in Africa for young females, for young girls to grow up empowered. She's put thousands of dollars, millions into Africa so she could feed the homeless, the hungry out there, okay? Oprah Winfrey got her own network. You know what I'm saying? Oprah Winfrey has hired many black folks in a lot of the movies she's done. A lot of project, project, uh, projects she's been a part of, okay? Yeah, y'all want to get mad at Oprah Winfrey, but Oprah Winfrey been doing her part. So this is what I'm saying, man. Y'all need to stop talking against people who are really there for you, who are really doing something. Because as much as Jesse Jackson been talking, man, what much has he really been doing? What much has been accomplished in the last 50 years? And this is since after Martin Luther King lost his life. Okay? Ain't really much been changing. We still going through the same things we've been going through the last five years. And see, if we had our own police force, we had our own community it was really strong, these officers wouldn't be killing us like they wouldn't be doing. At least not the crooked ones. The real racist ones, they wouldn't be getting away with a lot of the BS they've been um, getting away with if that was really truly the case. Problem is, that's not the case. Okay? And it's sad that I got to word it like that, but it's just the utmost truth. Okay? You know, I'm not just doing this just to talk out my ass. I'm not just doing this just to be, just to be, uh, I'm not, I'm not just doing this just to, for my own, just to be cute or funny on camera. No, man, I'm trying to, I'm doing this because I care. But no, man, these liberal agendas, these liberal movements, no, man, it's just full of crap. And then you got to watch out for the um, some of these other um, these non-black folks that want you to think a certain way. That's what's wrong with these Democrats. I'll tell you, man, these Democrats, some of these Democratic, um, some of these Democratic um, politicians, they not all that right themselves. Because I already told y'all numerous times about Hillary Clinton, what that was, what she was really about. I told you that her and Bill Clinton was the ones behind was the one behind funding these prisons. You want to know why we got so many prisons open up in these cities? It's because of Bill Clinton and Hillary. When Bill Clinton was president, he, he dropped millions of dollars to go into these prison systems to build these prisons, houses, and, and house all these black folks. Okay? Most of these prisons were built for our people. Mainly. Because we make up the majority of people populated in these prisons. You know what I'm saying? The Clinton, the Clinton family dropped... A low lot of money to put a lot of prisons to be built. And a lot of these prison systems, you know what I'm make millions of dollars. They make money daily. They make thousands amongst thousands of dollars off free labor. Okay? So you're technically a slave inside there anyway. Alright? So y'all gotta stand what this is, man. Like this is this is just crazy. But no, but Dr. Umo Johnson, shame on you, man. And people like him. There's too many people like him. The Michael Eric Dyson, him too. Full of crap. That man want to talk about men's masculine, masculinity is poison, but yet, man, look how look, look what these women been doing. You got women taking advantage. You got women that's putting these men in jail over over lies, over rape, a rape that some of these men weren't even a part of. You got that going on, right? You don't say nothing about that. Like, you want women to equal themselves with men. Yet, when women, you know what I'm saying, take advantage of the system... And they do the man, they do these men wrong, then what you gonna say after that? You got women who purposely call the cops after they didn't they didn't antagonize the argument. You got women that hit the man upside the head. You got women who have shot at shot at their men, shot at their husbands. You got women, we got women who make their um their men jealous on purpose. 
And then a call 911 when they feel something is being wrong to him when the man is innocent. You got that going on. Okay? Now, these are the things I'll be looking at, man. Like, I'll be looking at what's going on right now. It's bad. But again, to you pro blacks, what you gonna do? For as much as as, as much as complaining y'all do, man, what are you gonna do, man? And this goes for you leaders right now. In this country alone. Okay? What's your solution? What's your end game? Because I still don't see nothing being done at all. Alright? Hey folks, stay tuned for part three because part three, I'm going to basically be doing on Kaepernick and what he can do to get back to the NFL. I'm going to cover that in part three and I'm going to show you for the ones that's been defending him. I'm going to show you just how wrong you were. I'm going to show you that 16 touchdowns, four interceptions and 2,000 yards ain't nothing on a quarterback that you got to actually watch these games before you back somebody like him and accuse the NFL of being wrong. You accuse the NFL of wrongdoing, man. I'm going to show you that, man, but... That's, that's going to be on part three, but this is how, what, what Kyle Kepper needs to do if he really truly wants to get back to the NFL. Because again, man, I, 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 a lot of this stuff needs to be cleared up right now. Okay? And shouts out to the people who are doing something right. Shouts out to the black folks who do care, who ain't with the program, who ain't with the BS, because I stand by you, man. I'm the same way. All right? Anyways, folks, stay blessed, stay tuned. I'll see you soon.